welcome to our installation guide. Firstly, let's start by showing you the tools needed to install your composite decking. An electronic circular saw with fine tooth blade, a spirit level, a tape measure, an electric or manual screwdriver, a power drill, and a long Torx screwdriver bit. First, let's start with your frame. We recommend using 50 by 100 mm or 50 by 150 mm treated timber joists. The joists should be spaced at 300 mm centers. For decks over 600 mm high, please seek professional advice. We recommend that your decking has a gradual gradient of at least 1 in 100 that runs away from any adjoining buildings. Composite boards should be positioned lengthways down this gradient to help water naturally disperse. HD Protect Tape can be applied to the frame. It creates a waterproof barrier to protect the top of your timber from moisture. First, clean surface free of debris. Then, cut the tape to length. Stick the tape to the top of the frame and any exposed ends of timber, removing the backing as you go. Finally, fold the edges of tape over the sides of the timber. Screw your starter clips into position along each joist and slot your first deck board into the starter clips. Do not at any point screw or nail through the composite decking. Next, place a universal clip into the groove of this first board. Screw it into place, but do not tighten this yet. You should use one clip on every joist. Make sure that the composite deck boards do not overhang the joist by more than 25 mm. Also, a 10 mm expansion gap should be left between the deck and any walls or other fixed objects. Place the second piece of deck and push it into the clips. Now place a clip into the groove of this second board. Nip the screw to secure it against the first board, but do not over tighten. Now continue this process using one clip and one screw on every joist. When the boards meet end to end, you must allow some expansion space. Do not allow composite deck boards to meet at the ends. Depending on the temperature, you should leave a gap of between 5 and 7 mm. You should also make sure that any join should have a double joist underneath using a clip to secure each end. To fit the final boards, first measure the width of the final two boards to find out where the outer edge of the final board will lie. Using these marks, fit starter clips and slot the last board into place. Now insert the penultimate board and slide down the required number of clips. Screw these clips into place. If you choose to insert end caps, then liberally apply a high quality grab adhesive and secure them in place, wiping away any excess adhesive. To fit the fascias, drill pilot holes with a counterbore bit at 200 to 300 mm intervals and screw into the timber joists. Again, make sure you leave a 5 to 7 mm expansion gap between the end of the decking boards and the fascia. Always fit fascia boards to the joist at a 90 degree angle. It is recommended that furniture placed on HD deck is fitted with rubber or felt feet to prevent unnecessary scrapes. Instead of the universal clips, slim clips can be used. These leave a smaller gap between each board. Push the board into the starter clips. Push slim clips into the other side of the board and screw them to the frame. Perpendicular boards can be added using a universal clip at the end of the parallel boards. Bullnose boards allow you to create a flush finish without adding a fascia. To fit a bullnose board, simply add two starter clips 75mm apart. Then slide the bullnose board into place and push forward and secure it with a universal clip ready for the next board to be laid. You can adjust the spacing of your starter clips to achieve an overhang or flush finish. To fit composite prime decking onto steps, bullnose boards must be used. Add decking starting from the bottom step. Add starter clips, then place your bullnose boards into place. The back of each board is held in place by a fascia. For more help and advice, 
visit our website or call 0113 426 2770.